Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 86 of my Manchester United Football Manager 2015. Let's play today. You know what it is. It's a Juve second leg. First leg, it turned out to be pretty positive. Unfortunately, couldn't get the win, but we got four away goals. And it's a draw, of course, 4-4. Four, four. Uh, you can see the other first knockout round second leg uh, being played today is Man City and Barcelona, where Barcelona is currently leading... 2-1, uh, but Man City have their home game to be played, and they got the one away goal. Hmm, interesting how that game will pan out, but I'll focus on my one here today. They'll play the Watford game as well, and that'll be it for this episode. Next episode will be the youth intake, hopefully another star. Last two years, we've got an amazing centre-back, you know, pretty much about Pressland. He's on the bench today, actually, and the other centre-back we got was Darren Pritchard, so you know you can't really control it. But hopefully he can get a star somewhere else, like in another position. Uh, you got those two guys that's going to be part of the future, no doubt. And along with all our other players, younger types. But yeah, I'd prefer not another centre-back. Because we won't be able to play three of them unless we change to a three at the back formation. Or three centre-back formation. Which I probably won't do. Anyway, we go into the game. And you've always wondered, you have this defend tactic. Why don't you ever use it? It's for a very crucial... Or, or limited, yeah, limited situations like this or maybe late in the game, but I never really change it because, yeah, when I'm dominating, I just leave it. I just can't be bothered. But, yeah, to defend, you got, yeah, four defenders, of course. Um, the fullbacks are on defend. It's just a big difference compared to the complete winbacks, isn't it? And Igor Martinez is actually going to come in the halfback defensive role. And as a center defensive midfield, I might mold them into that as well eventually, especially if, if we have more center backs coming through. And then the three center midfielders, two of them on the left and right sides, uh, with Romero in the middle as the ball winning midfielder. You've got the deep line playmakers on defend, uh, who'll be Pirlo and Di Maria. Of course, we don't have amazing, like they're not amazing. Well, Pirlo is solid. Uh, nah. I was going to say he's solid defensively, he's decreasing a bit, but. He's always been a very good passer, but they both can play pretty deep. And just, it's about the positioning on the pitch more than anything. And they can sit back and keep possession. And that's how we'll play. And just got Depay and Falcao up front. Depay is a complete forward on support. So he'll create a lot uh, for Falcao. And hopefully Falcao can finish. I was tossing up with the start. Yeah, Van Persie or Falcao just went with Falcao. Because this is, yeah, where he where he wants to shine, really. And where I hope he will. And, yeah, we've got a, just, like, defensive setup. You've got retained possession, shorter passing, pass into space. Actually, I'll take off pass into space off. Just, yeah, I want short pass to the feet and that kind of stuff. I'll whip crosses in dangerously. Uh, drop deeper. Again, sitting back. Uh, exploit the middle. Because, yeah, we have most of our players through the middle. Especially as we're not really utilizing our fullbacks getting forward in this we're not, you know, in this tactic, we're not using complete win backs. Use tighter marking in defense. And this is where we have the ability to time waste. You know, wasting time will instruct your players to... I don't like to call it time wasting though, so I'm not going to consider... I just want to consider... I want to keep possession. I want to maintain possession as much as I can. So hopefully, yeah, it'll be seen that way. Uh, lower tempo and play even safer. Though All those goats would go well together. So if you play a very defensive game, like... It, I'm going for a nil-nil here, a nil-nil. But then if they score, it will throw a spanner into the works, especially if it's a late goal. And then, yeah, if they win one nil, they advance. So obviously I'm playing for a nil-nil here. And I feel when I play defensive anyway, I somehow score just the way it pans out. So maybe pulling for like a one nil or something. And you can see their formation as well. It's it's a defensive formation because they, they, they've got to be careful. It's our home ground as well. So you've got to see how it goes. But their centre-backs, you've got Chiellini, Rugani, and Okore. Chiellini, probably only the world, only world-class one. So And their wing-backs on defence. So they are playing a fairly defensive game. They might, yeah, we're probably going for the same here to win 1-0. It'll be very interesting. So let's see how it pans out, but look all those opposition instructions applied, and here we'll go, assertively, guard against complacency, you really can do that from the start, obviously when there's two legs, you have the option to do that, when you're winning of course, but technically we're not winning, but on aggregate, aggregate we're not winning, but yeah, we've got the four away goals. So, it'll be very interesting to see how this goes, if there are chances, because both teams are playing fairly defensive, so you could imagine this will finish nil-nil. It, there's a real chance that could happen unless they go attacking late. But again, oh no, they've got a free kick. Tevez. Ah, no way. Oh, man. 
<laughs> it's only 20 minutes in. Well, and it's already scary. Liali did well, though, to hold on to that. And you can see we're dominating possession right now. 66%. Look at this domination of possession. Probably deserves a goal if we're dominating this much. But we are playing fairly defensive. So that first half, I guess it worked... Yeah, I guess it worked nil-nil. I won a goal, though, because yeah, if they score, they're suddenly advancing. And you can be... You're gone just like that, knocked out. But again, we'll say assertively, there's still room for improvement. They're just one motivating from Romero, but we played exactly the way we wanted to there. Defend and keep possession. Don't allow them possession. Because if they don't have the ball, they can't score, obviously. That's the main logic. But here's Lacazette. Luke Shaw did well to intercept Di Maria and Romero, just harassing Pogba there, and it worked. Unfortunately, Falcao was offside there. I'm not sure, again, not sure whether to make subs if we need to. We've got to see. Okay, this might be an opportunity to score. Oh, Depay could have played that through. Well, he tried to, couldn't quite do it. Vidal. I'd rather concede now than like in the 80th minute though. So we can have time to score. The oh, mate. Oh, mate. Mistake by... Oh, of course it's going to be an own goal. Of course. Oh, mate. Of course it'll be an own goal. Uh, so, like I said, in the minute that was conceded, I'd rather concede now than later. <laughs> like when there's only five minutes left or something. We can go back to attack. We're probably going to have to alter some positions. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe not too much. No, just. Okay. We're going to have to. Romero for Pilo. Now, actually, Romero dropped back. Pilo, deep line playmaker. Oh. Inigo Martinez is going to have to come off. And we're going to bring on Marco Royce. And Falcao can go through the middle as a poacher. But Depay, yeah, Depay probably preferred on the left side. Um, didn't want that to show, but anyway. Uh, Romero, I want Romero to get in the play, though. I'd rather Pilo sitting back there. Because Romero can create something, of course. And what's his best position as a center mid? Or best role as a center mid? Because, yeah, advanced play or box to box. Yeah, I wanted him to be getting in the play, you know. And yeah, he's not so creative. Lucas Romero, he can pass, of course. What? Well, he's got 16 vision. Um, seven. Ma no, maybe that will be good. Deep line playmaker on support. No, we'll leave it like that for now, anyway. <laughs> yeah, for now. And... Because we need a score, I'm not going to be wasting any time. I'm not going to wait till like the 80th minute for it to happen. We'll just push them up to actual wingers there. Raphael and Luke Shaw at home. Okay. Let's, we can't, yeah, we can't go on the philosophy anymore that we planned. It was just scary, you know, like you don't want to go, like your attack information, of course, it's done well for us, but yeah, Juve could be dangerous. I didn't want to be like a high scoring match because then... Yeah, we wouldn't have that away goal advantage if they score a lot. If it was another, like, big 4-4 or something close to that anyway. Come on. Depay. Depay. It was a good shot. Buffon saves. He's still playing. A legendary keeper. Oh, Luke Shaw's picked up a knock. Not good at all. He's going to have to stay on because we don't have another player in that role, do we? Uh, Bernat's not on the bench. Falcao off. I think this is his time is up. I think his time is up. And our time could be up here. Di Maria. Let's bring on Andreas Iniesta. He's got to show why we signed him. And even Romero. Um, roaming playmaker. So, so he can get forward a bit more maybe. Don't worry about defending. Cause, nah, because it's the 72nd minute. No, nah, it's... Even Pirlo, another centre midfielder. What's Pirlo's best role as centre mid? Uh, yeah, he can still be deep lying. We'll put a deep lying one in there. It's so nervy at this point, seriously. Put on support there, come on. All subs made. Ooh, man. I'm going to go more direct here. More direct and much higher tempo. Yep. We'll go with those changes. And maybe exploit the flanks. Use 
Ah, oh, nah. Ah, whipped crosses. Yeah, whipped crosses will still do. Come on. Come on, this has to do it. We need one goal. One goal will do it for us and we'll advance. Come on. Oh, I'd hate to go out here. Yeah, no way. There's surely more to the story. There's surely more to the story. There's only five minutes left. Oh, I just thought it was gone here. I just, I, I was shocked in disbelief. It's a penalty. I thought I was gone. I was just, my brain was shot. That's why I wasn't saying anything. <laughs> oh my God, we could save ourselves here. Goal. Wow. I thought we were gone. Van Persie. I thought we were gone. I was in a state of shock. <laughs> but we brought it back. Oh, look at that. Injury time. Wow. I thought we were gone. I thought we were gone. But look at that. Injury time penalty. Deep into injury time as well. There was plus three added. Oh man, how about that? How about that for a shock? I, honestly, I was just, I was like sitting back and like, yep, yeah, we're gone. We're gone. We've lost it. We've saved ourselves late. We've saved it late. You could probably say we're lucky. You could probably say that. And I will. We were lucky. We were all but knocked out. And a penalty saved us. Wow. I'm alive. I was just like thinking in my head, yep, we're going to have to wait another season. But we may not have to. And because how that game panned out towards the end, uh, like I said, I was just I was thinking I was thinking for all money I was gone. Uh, we've got late penalty. I'm not really in the mood now like to play another game. I'm just yeah, not in the mindset to do it. Uh, but yeah, it was great to... Uh, yeah, advanced to the next round. I thought, like, I wasn't, well, I didn't know what I was thinking, to be honest. I thought we were gone. I said that already, man. Oh, we are so lucky uh, to escape. Thanks to the referee for giving us a penalty. Thanks to the UV defender giving away, yeah, foul in the box. And we scraped away. So I probably will play that Watford game. We should advance in FA Cup. And next yeah, episode will be the youth intake. So look out for that. Drop a like for the video. And I'll see you guys next time.